being young nowadays is honestly pretty confusing. Beyond the fact that there's 70 gender pronouns that you gotta remember. I mean, how, how do you even pronounce this one? I know that every generation says they were confused when they're young, but I really do feel like this one has it the worst. I'm speaking on confusion as in to what the fuck we should do with our lives, and I'm kinda confused as to how other confusion exists. Like, I'm confused about my sexuality. What makes your dick hard? Okay, well, what legally makes your dick hard? We're going to Finland. Honestly though, it is a confusing time to figure out what the fuck you should do with your life. Mostly because of information overload, both in the sense of how much you could do and all the advice that's out there. Gary V, be kind. Fair enough. Grant Cardone, buy a hundred unit apartment building. I'm sure that works. I mean, if I had to guess, it probably does make money, but... I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> so why are you making life complicated, bro? Just buy a hundred unit apartment building. Stupid. Dan Penna, if you have friends, you're a bitch. Bill Gates doesn't hang. Bill Gates doesn't hang. Elon Musk doesn't hang. Warren Buffett doesn't chill. Henry Ford didn't chill. Steve Jobs, who I knew, didn't chill. I don't chill. Steve Jobs didn't chill. Okay? They just fucked kids and realized on their deathbed that they became a twisted being by chasing wealth. Success. People say you gotta work 12 hours a day, while others tell you that manifestation will bring your dreams into reality. Others will tell you your dreams aren't true. Trust your gut, ignore your feelings. Buy my course so you can escape the 9 to 5 rat race. Take a risk, quit your job, get a second job. You know, no more excuses, bro, it's 2022. And if you're not successful in 2022, it's cause you're a bitch. Cause there's 14 year olds selling NFTs for millions. So what's your excuse, huh? Bitch. It's like... Do these people even realize how comments like that can make me feel? So there are a million different people telling you how to become successful. But then there are successful people telling you that your success won't make you happy. What the fuck? So you spend your days chasing something that you know won't make you happy, but you do it anyways because the void isn't gonna fill itself. And you're grinding and working hard only to realize that a 15 year old did a couple dances and is now worth 12 million dollars. Or some dude bought a stock that he saw on reddit and became rich within the span of a week. Although you could become happy to know that he lost it all the next week. Diamond hands baby. And I find social media in general just inspires so much insecurity. Like, I'm in general an insecure person, mostly because I'm a Libra. So you're insecure, like most of us tend to be at some points. And you see all these other people who are your age or younger, way more successful than you. And because you're insecure, you see that as a reflection of your own inadequacies rather than something external to you. I mean, to be honest, I almost skipped out on university because a bunch of people on the internet said it was a scam. Which, I mean, it probably is a scam. But does that mean that I shouldn't go? I mean, I want to go. I'm applying. But I almost didn't because... I was taking advice from other people. And when you're insecure, other people's beliefs and opinions can really sway how you act. And because you're getting so many differing opinions all the time, it just like, you don't even know what the fuck you should be doing, just leads to so much confusion. I don't know guys, to be honest, I've always felt that these TikTok preachers or these motivational speakers on YouTube have always made me feel like shit and stressed more than made me actually want to be successful. And maybe they would see that as a good thing because I should feel like shit because I haven't done shit, which isn't true because I got out of bed before noon this morning. Stupid. And it's almost like, I don't know if the people who are making these like videos are doing it on purpose or they're just getting views and they just think they're doing a good thing. But it's like, it's playing off our insecurities and our need for external validation. I think it's toxic as shit, to be honest. Maybe that's just me though, so let me know what you think about all this shit down in the comment section below. Anyways, it's been your boy Waffle Sauce, better known as Syrup. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.